Hey guys, HowToPro here, and today I'm going to show you how to subtract fractions. Now enough blabbering on, let's begin. So first, I'm going to make up a little question here. So how about... Okay, so first thing you want to do is find what these two denominators have in common. And if you don't know what that is, this is the denominator. It is the number below, and the numerator is the one above. And if you see one uh, number right next to the fraction, that means it's a whole number. So basically there's one whole pizza of eight slices, and another one is three out of eight slices of the pizza. So one and three eighths. So let's get started on this. So we know that this is the denominator and this is the numerator. Right now, let's forget about the numerator, let's forget about the whole number, and let's just move on to the denominator. So we need to find out the lowest common denominator, which is the LCD. And the lowest common denominator is basically the LCM, which is the lowest common multiple of 2 and 8. So, 2 goes into 8, right? So 8 would be the lowest common multiple, which is the lowest common denominator, because 2 goes into 8, as well as 8 is the lowest number that this can go in, that this... Okay, this is a bit confusing. So 8 can go into itself one time, 2 goes into 8 four times, therefore 8 is the lowest common denominator. So let's just get ahead and do this. So we write 1 for the whole number here and 8. 2 goes into 8 four times. Since there is a 1 here, we multiply well, how many times 2 goes into 8 by the numerator of the first number. So ready? 2 goes into 8 four times times 1 is 4. Then we minus it by 5 over 8, which is this number. Because 8 goes into 8 one time, so this doesn't change. Now, since 5 is bigger than 4, there's a way to do this. This is where the whole number comes in. So we're going to do 1 for the whole number, and then 8. But since there's no more whole number, we're going to cancel it out. 8 times 1 plus 4. Because you see how this is 8, this is 1, this is 4. You get rid of this, and you add 8 to 4. So that would be 12 over 8 minus 5 over 8, which would be 7 over 8. So if you don't know how I did that, let's go over it again. First, you find the LCD or LCM, links in the description, of course, and then, sorry, I feel a bit sick, and then you put it on the next thing. So let's do a new question. How about 1 and 1 over 8 by 1 fourth, and then we do what we just did. So, if you'd like, you can follow along with this question. We can see if we get the same answer. So, first thing, we find the lowest common multiple of these two numbers. And 4 times 2 happens to be 8, and 8 times 1 happens to be 8. So, lowest common denominator is 8. 8 goes into 8 one time, minus what the denominator is, and 4 goes into 8 two times, so we write 2 on top of here, which equals, oh wait, 1 is two bigger than, I mean 1 is smaller than 2. So we have to cancel this one out and do 8 plus 1, which is 9 over 8, and then we have minus the 2 over 8, which is 7 over 8. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, of course I'm going to find a link to put in the description if this didn't help you out. But 
it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it and yeah so have a nice day and this is how to find the answer